hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine open world tutorial series so in this episode i'm going to show you how to automatically apply a different material layer uh, uh, to this uh, sea level so as you can see here now you can see some kind of a wetness in the water level and below the water level we don't have any grasses growing so it's all wet and we don't have any grasses or bushes so yeah this is what i'm going to cover today and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me it means a lot to me right uh, now in this episode so yeah as you can see even under the water surface uh, the landscape material and grass is similar so yeah I want to automatically erase this grass which is under the surface and uh, apply a different um, material landscape material layer actually i have already set up such a material layer for the landscape so right so let me uh, go to my landscape material and re-enable it so yeah we have layer one layer two layer three well four layers and okay let me open the material and here we have some parameters set up for height blending yeah this one blend height so yeah so that's the parameter i set up so let me check where there is this one so blend height so using the blend height i apply this uh, which layer is this layer four yeah that's the one i use with this blend height so below this defined blend height there will be the fourth layer so layer 4 means this one all right so so here we need for this uh, blend height i need to give the world space position z position of the water layer so to find that out let me place an object so in this objects world space position is um, this one so I'll apply this parameter here okay now let's see what happened well nothing actually something happened but still grass is there yeah let's see again so yeah okay so as you can see here you see the difference and we can obviously we need to give some wet look here and also yeah give some wet look and also we need to remove grass now let's see how to remove the grass from this layer 4 so okay okay so this is yeah this is the glass layer and we don't need grass below the level defined by this blend height so here we have we use this alpha to blend that uh, level 4 layer 4 material layer so if I use the same alpha value here 
and multiply it with the input of this cross then I should I should uh, yeah I should get a grass below or uh, grass above that point and then below that point there should be no grass so let's check if this works so yeah in here actually I think I need to get one minus value because uh, after below uh, because uh, below this level for the world position I will get zero and for positions above this no sorry positions below this one I'll get one here positions above this level I'll get zero here so therefore I'll get one minus and multiply it with this one and apply okay let's see what happens now okay did it work yes it worked but we have a problem so we have two grass layers so for these bushes and for the normal grass so yeah we need to use the same method to get rid of this bushes as well so right I'll yeah add another multiply node here and multiply with it with the same input so I think we should be able to get rid of the bushes as well all right cool so now we don't have grass or any type of bushes so this tree is coming from the procedural foliage spawn volume so we need to uh, remove the spawn in volume or we can add some rules to not to spawn uh, trees below this level so we can take care of that later first let's uh, take care of the material stuff right right now we got rid of the grass and bushes under the sea level now let's uh, do some modifications to this layer so this doesn't really look like uh, mud or sand or anything so right now let's go here so here and this is the layer 4 it should be layer 4 so okay shall we change some color right that's definitely the layer 4 uh, so we need where are the material parameters for layer what do we have okay so for the surface properties we have a single parameter right so that's the issue so yeah instead of this let me duplicate this part and then let me rename metallic no maybe we can hard code these values wait no let's rename this metallic underwater um, let's call it L4 because it stands for the layer 4 mm -hmm. 
and this one is specular L4 and this one roughness L4 now I'll add these parameters to the category under water right oh water layer whatever that works for you and for the I'll connect this metallic parameter to this one specular parameter to this one and roughness to this one and apply right okay so now let's tweak those parameters where's the underwater section uh, water layer right here I'll set roughness to zero did it work yeah now we have some weight look here okay and metallic one okay it seems too much a little bit maybe 0.6 right now we really have the weight look see even some puddles like we have yes also and a specular maybe one zero one okay point nine right now I think this edge is uh, too sharp so I think I'll reduce this pen sharpness to 200 wait nothing happened okay where do I use this blend sharpness ah sorry I should change the height blend sharpness not just blend sharpness and this also should be under the water layer actually and this blend height also should be in the water layer let's apply now for this height plane sharpness what if I make it high Whoa. zero okay so I need to increase the sharpness so that's all actually so uh, yeah I guess I should rename this to be more meaningful because if I increase sharpness we should get a very sharp edge if I decrease that we should get a very blurred edge so right anyway I'll go with what I have at the moment okay now we have a nice blending from wet to the dry zone and so I'll increase the height of this one a little bit is it too much okay let's try to not enough maybe 150 better okay I think it's better but now we have we can let's try 50 okay much better except for the distance because in the distance from the distance we can see a sharp edge let's try 100 oh wait yeah better definitely so yeah what else we should do so it we have it everywhere see 
um, yeah but we need to change the texture as well and also we need to add some post process effect to get some underwater look when I go below the sea level but we can look into them later okay so now so let's see do we need any other texture for this what are the other textures we have so actually we are using a sand layer and we have a tint of green so instead of a green tint maybe we should use another color oh that's better Yeah, I think that's good enough for now. Okay. So, yeah, I think we are done for the day. That's good. So, do we need to increase the show level? No, I think this is good enough. All right, so so here is the final demonstration. We have the dry layer and the wet layer. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think I can make the footstep looks like uh, he's walking on a wet surface. Yeah, we can do that. It should be fair. Uh, no, we can't do that because we don't have a L4 layer here. We only have auto layer and no grass. Yeah, these two layers, these couple of layers. So if I had a underwater layer here, in this uh, layer in 4, we could assign a physics material. But uh, yeah, we may have to look for a different way to do that okay anyway yeah that's all right so yeah i'll stop this episode at this point and yeah so in the next episode i'll continue with maybe some world building so that we can work on some civilians we can continue with the civilians add some roads create some towns around this water around the lake and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patron club link would be in the description below and uh, yeah i released uh yeah yesterday i released another project file uh, uh, the one that i used to demonstrate how to create an infinite subway effect as in star wars so you can download the project if you want here and yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.